In this video, we present our work on learning visual tactile estimation and control for non-prehensile manipulation under occlusions. Previous works addressing closed-loop control for non-prehensile manipulation rely on complex external perception setups that guarantee continuous tracking of the manipulated object. In contrast, we present an estimation and control framework that enables us to perform closed-loop non-prehensile manipulation tasks with a simple onboard camera and leverage tactile sensing to continue solving the task during prolonged visual occlusions. We first train a privileged policy using reinforcement learning in a simulated environment without occlusions. By rolling out a wide range of optimal and suboptimal checkpoints from this policy in simulation, we are able to collect highly diverse interaction data that reflects distinct control behaviors and environment dynamics. Then, we add synthetic occlusions and sensory noise to the collected interaction data. We use this data to train a visual tactile state estimator under a Bayesian deep learning framework to capture aleatoric and epistemic uncertainty. Finally, we train an uncertainty-aware RL control policy in a simulated environment with occlusions using the pre-trained state estimator in the loop. Our first evaluation scenario considers naturally occurring occlusions that arise due to the onboard perception. On the right, we show the RVs view with the perceived and estimated object poses. We also show how the robot camera view can occlude the reading of the box pose. Note that we perform zero-shot sim to real transfer to deploy the learned estimator and control policy in hardware. Our second evaluation scenario considers longer human-induced occlusions. The robot successfully leverages the force sensing to estimate the object pose even in the case of complete visual occlusions, being able to solve the task with smooth motions. We also consider a scenario where the human induces the occlusion for the complete duration of the task. This is particularly challenging due to the lack of visual feedback to correct compounding estimation errors throughout the task completion. Our method achieves 19 out of 20 successful runs in the scenario of naturally occurring occlusions. 10 out of 10 with partial human-induced occlusions, and 7 out of 10 with full human-induced occlusions. We believe our work is an important step towards deploying robotic systems outside the lab, where external perception setups are unavailable and visual occlusions are likely to occur. Thank you for watching.